So I know it's a little weird. I just got out of the shower. I've got my hair wrapped up. Excuse me. I've got a bit of a sinus blockage. But I wanted to give you guys, excuse me, a little bit of a life update. Um, I might pause the video a lot because I am sneezing like crazy. Um, uh, so just a fair warning there. And uh, I'm going to be wiping up my nose a bit. So uh, it is just allergies. Um. I hope uh, so far my my mucus has been pretty clear. So um, I'm told that you know green or yellow mucus means that there's an infection, but clear mucus is usually just a sign of just an irritant. So um, it's been raining a lot where I live, and uh, it produces it it kicks up a lot of pollen and everything. Um, which is just a pain. So, uh, I only have like 18 minutes of, um, recording time left on my phone. Uh, my roommate has been sick for the last week, so he's been in the office a lot, just playing games, watching TV. That's kind of his go-to spot. Um. And I haven't been wanting to kick him out so I can record for you guys. Um, but I should be back next week. Up and running. Um, depending on how he's feeling. And how I'm feeling. Usually when I have allergies this bad, um, I, uh, I lose my voice. Because... My throat gets so sore, but I'm going to do my best to get some medicine in me. Um, my parents take the same allergy medicine I do, and my dad has some extra that I'm going to pick up this weekend. So, that'll really help me out a lot. Um, I have been uh, super sick, so I went from having the... I, I'm, it's really dark in here. I went from having um, what I believe was salmonella. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys have read up on it, but Jif peanut butter had a huge recall in the Midwest um, for salmonella. And we had just bought two of those really big jars of peanut butter because I'd been craving peanut butter. Well, right after I had eaten, like, peanut butter sandwiches for, like, three days in a row, I got really sick, and my mom found something and posted it to Facebook, and my husband checked the lot numbers, and turns out, oh, uh, we had a contaminated batch, so I was the only one, luckily, that ate the peanut butter. Luckily, I didn't make, like, peanut butter cookies or something, but, um, yeah, no, it was pretty scary. Um, so, uh, that's probably why I was sick. And then, right after that, um, again, we're still struggling with, uh, fertility. And, um, we've just dis discovered again that, um, I am not, um, pregnant. And, uh, it's just, it's been a struggle for me. Emotionally. Just trying to deal with um, menstrual cycles while trying to get pregnant are really hard because it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a signifier that you're you're not um, especially when it's kind of a heavier flow. So you know, on top of the fact that I'm emotional and hurting and bleeding. I'm also just completely, um, let me turn on the light here. I'm also just completely upset that I, um, I'm not, I'm not having a baby. So, um, 
it's been kind of rough, uh, if you can see. I've got my wedding picture hung up. One of them, anyway. My walls are awful in my bedroom. Don't, don't judge. Don't judge. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's been rough. Uh, I, I've been enjoying your guys' comments. Um, I have several people commenting on how they like how honest I am. And, uh, I'm open and honest because I, I don't have anything to hide. I don't need to put on a facade. I mean, my real life feels more like a facade than my internet persona. Um, I constantly feel like I have to change my personality to please the people around me. Uh, feeling as if I'm, I talk too much or I'm too annoying or on here I can ramble as much as I want. And people find me. You know, that's the great thing about YouTube is you guys get to choose whether or not to watch me. You guys don't have to. If somebody doesn't like my content, they just move on. And the people that do stay. And the fact that I have over a thousand people subscribed to me shows me that over a thousand people like me for who I am. Which I think is kind of cool. Um, I didn't think YouTube would be the place to go to make friends, but, um, I find it kind of neat. Uh, I'd absolutely love to meet up with a bunch of you guys. I know I've got several, uh, fans from the United States, uh, and I'd, I'd love to meet some of you guys. Like, I know I'm not huge right now, but I'd absolutely love... To just meet people who who like me for who I am. Uh, I couldn't imagine being stopped in public and being like, "Oh my gosh, you're 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 Phoenix Twenty Eight, aren't you?" I would be I'd be amazed if people recognize me in public uh, and extremely happy. So, uh, and for anybody who. Uh, wants to meet up. Uh, I am going to be in Wichita this weekend. Um, helping my brother move. That's the area he's from. Uh, I'm from like Midwest Missouri. Um, I, I mean, I'm not, I don't mind giving out my town. I live in Clinton. Um, but I mean, I don't feel like any of you guys would stalk me. <laughs> and if so, uh, you're in for a scary surprise. My husband is, uh, he, he just, he's very paranoid. <laughs> so, um, yeah, other than that, uh, it's just been, it's been a weird week. I'm uh, trying not to ramble too much because I don't have much time. But it's been, it's been a hectic week for me. Um, if you guys want to leave questions in the comments below for me to answer, I will. It's going to be a lot easier for me to just uh, kind of Q&A for a little bit. I do want to paint my nails at some point. They look so bland. Uh, I've got a wedding to go to. Uh, June 4th. A friend of mine's wedding. Actually, it's my doula. Uh, she's getting married. But uh, I've got a cute dress uh, that I'm wearing. And my husband's got a suit. I actually don't know if he's going to do his dark one or his gray one. But, um, yeah, we got a wedding to go to. And that weekend's also the weekend we're going to clean, wash our bedding, vacuum the floors, since everybody's been sick. I'm going to take a couple cans of Lysol to my house, get these germs out. Um, so, uh, 
leave your comments, guys. I really appreciate your comments and your concern. Uh, and I hope I see you guys next week with an actual video that isn't me in my bedroom on my phone with the world's worst skin. Oh my goodness, my skin is awful. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope life is treating you good. I'll see you guys hopefully next week and in the comment section. <laughs>